everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Amy. Today I'm going to show you another uh, Christmas design painted on this green glass Hagermeister bottle. I am going to be using 3A Magic paint brushes. And they're getting so worn on the handles I'm not sure the sizes maybe. Uh, number two, I believe that's a number four, and then that's a number six. I will link, have links down below, affiliate links, where you can make purchases of these if you want to have the uh, brushes that I'm using. If you have your own, that's great too, but just find the links down below. And then I'm going to be using a number two deer foot stippler. And last but not least, a clay ball maker to do some dotting with. I've already cleaned my bottle and I clean it with soap and water, rub it off, wipe it off with rubbing alcohol. And then I coated it, base coated it with Glam Gold, which is folk art paint. And that's why it has a little bit of the glitter. And I did it all around the bottle. Now I probably will just do the design on the front, but I did it all around the bottle. And then I do put lights in, in my bottles when I'm selling them. It's just another thing that uh, you can have as your home decor with a little bit of light in it. I know I like little lights in my house no matter what time of year it is. Just kind of gives you a, a nice ambiance. They can be used as night lights or like say you have a half bath with guests. Great way for people to enter into a bathroom and be able to see before they turn the light on. Anyways, I do use all folk art paints, a combination of multi-surface and enamels. I'm using Thicket, School Bus Yellow, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Classic Green. That's kind of more of a, to me, is more of a Christmas color when it comes to the different greens. Wicker White, and then engine red. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the number two brush. And this I'm going to double load the two different brands, the Burnt Sienna, the Burnt Umber. I'm going to load it. And then I do tip it into the side just to, I don't know, I like to, to put white a lot of times. It gives it a little bit more um, opaqueness and hopefully that will help because I've already coated the bottle anyways. Alright, so I'm going to start like this. I had it upside down because most of it, it will probably be painted upside down. I'm just going to put like a little stroke in here um, just to start with a little stem then I'll probably come back here. Well, I will actually be coming back to add to it. So I'm going to stop with that. This is going to give me just kind of a guidance of where to start with my flowers. Put that brush aside. And then I'm using, did I, I don't think I said this one, I'm sorry. The metallic silver, I don't think I said that. That's going to be what I mix with the white to create my flowers. And basically, you know, you can put your brush into these and then go back and forth with your, your blending strokes. Or you can just dip it, dip it, and then do a blending stroke. Or you can come into one like this if you want more silver. Come into this one if you want more white. However you want to do it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, tip, tip the bottle down below, or upside down. I'm trying to say. And I'm just basically going to be doing just a wiggle, kind of come up and down and then back down. If you get too much paint on your paintbrush, feel free to wipe it off onto paper towel, your, your palette or whatever you have available to you to do that. Okay, so this one's going to be kind of an open, an open flower. Now you can on this if you want, you know, to come back down and then kind of turn your brush a little bit uh, to make just some wiggling. You can do that. Give it a little bit of more interest or you can just keep doing 
this around it. And just open petals strictly if you want. Not a big deal either way. If you want to go back over it, say maybe you feel like it didn't do as good a coverage. And you can do that too. Or you can wait for a minute and come back over and do it. Or you can hit it with a hair dryer. Just know that the thicker you put on your, your coat of paint, the more durable it's going to be. That's the importance of that. And you can do like the basic shape of the leaf and then come in and, and add you know, more white, more silver, you know, whatever you want to do. Alright, so then I'm going to, and sometimes I end up making these so big, but I'm trying to get other, other, um, other things on here besides just flowers. But I'm going to come off to the side a little bit and do the shape of my leaf, or my petal, sorry, not a leaf. But it's a petal, so you don't have to stick bait, you know, the, all the way onto the, the front of the bottle. Sometimes it's kind of nice just to hang over if, if I'm doing stones or doing flowers. Nice just to kind of do a little hang over the side. And then just keep doing it here. Basically what this is is just showing you part of a part of a flower that's kind of hidden by the flower in front. And you can wiggle it if you want to. I'm just kind of filling it in a little bit just to make sure that I have good coverage. I'm doing it again over here. Just for a third petal. I like to work in threes, if you haven't noticed that. Now the paper, I always do my design on paper before I paint it on a surface. And I just, you know, a lot of times I'll have to adjust because I do it bigger on the paper. Well, that should be good coverage. Alright, and then you can actually, if you want to even do a little bit more. I just don't want to do too much for the main reason is, is that I do want to add add more to this than just flowers. So I'm just going to keep it little. Maybe even just come over this one just a smidge. I did it a little bit differently on my paper, but then I thought once I do it on the bottle, I'm going to just do it a little bit differently and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so this is basically three flowers. And then I'm going to come down here and maybe do like a bud. So this is just partially, it's not an open flower. And then I can even just do this a little bit like that. And come down, I can just come down, just kind of give it, or I could, let me get that cleaned off a little bit, I could turn this around where I did like the silver at the top, like this, which is fine. And then I want to do maybe another, the other one here, let me go this way, another one like this. And I'm just doing my best to keep it with good coverage. Come like that and down. Then I'm going to do one more open one. If I can fit it in here, I'm running out of room. Come down to the bottom. 
Okay, so I'm just doing, again, just a wiggly, and I can come back over it, fill it in just like I did this other one. I'm trying to make it just a smidge smaller so I can fit it in here. It's pretty, though. What do you think about it so far? I hope you like it. If you're new to my channel, though, please make sure that you give me a big thumb up, thumbs up after you watch the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Just hit that subscribe button underneath and that notification bell so you get notified whenever something new posts. And I'm trying to make this as quickly as possible. I don't, I don't like to have my videos be too long. Here you go. Just fill in wherever you see it needs to be filled in. All right, so then I'm gonna go back to my brown. So my little brush, my number two. I'm gonna go ahead and load it again with some more paint and continue on with my little branches. Okay, so I have this one. I'm gonna go up here, come here, and then come up to this one. Now, because I don't have as much room, I'm gonna need to just improvise here and fit this in the best that I can. You'll see what I mean. Might even do a little sprig out this direction. I now use my, my technical words here. I know they're not technical, I'm just teasing. Okay, so I've got my little branches and I can just kind of move them, give them a little bit of uh, more color to them. Turn them around a little bit. Wiggle them like that. And you can just kind of wiggle your... I just did that just to show you. Put more paint on your brush. I don't really want it that wiggly. But just kind of like you would in a basically a floral arrangement. Okay, my next thing I'm going to do, pick up my other brush, which is my number four. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing with the other colors, double load it with the two different greens. And this is the classic green in the thicket. Touch a little bit of white into it. And then my point here is to start doing um, some basic, you know, poles like this, like, like little evergreen branches, basically. I might want to make them a little bit whiter. I could have my other green in here, but I'm not using my moss green on this. I'm just using the two greens I mentioned, as well as my white. Okay, so I'm just pulling these in. They'll be overlapping a little bit. Just get the greenery in here as much as you can. Again, my designs are meant to be very simplistic on purpose. And the, the reason being is that I want to encourage people to, to paint, be creative, not to be afraid of it, because it's something that's such a great stress reliever. And in life right now, I think, uh, we, you know, you need it. You need something that's a little bit better for you to be doing, besides drinking or, I mean, just in general never been a big drinker and then like on these you want to tie them in a little bit and I could have done that with the brown which I might do that switch this out here just a second come back in here with the brown a little bit and then tie these these little babies into the branches a lot of times I do that with green though but it's, it's, you know, whatever you want to do. Again, you have the ability to be creative however you want to be, however you see it. All right, I'm going to come 
back with my green. And then just keep doing these. I'm not going to have any, really any leaves in this. If you wanted to leave some of the brown showing, you could certainly do that or overlap onto the flowers. That's part of putting, the, putting flower arrangements together. Not everything stays safe, separated. That's for certain. And you can make them longer too as far as the, you know, mine are kind of getting short here, but you can make them longer, make them, make more of them if you wish. I dipped into brown somehow, like that. I'm going to leave a little bit of the brown out. Might even paint some more in there. Like I said, you can play with it. Just keep going over it till you get, you know, get it to show up the way you want it. Again, up to you. Have it overlap and then the flowers. It's like that. Very pretty. Next thing I'm going to do is take my Deerfoot stippler on the front, the, the front of the bristles. I'm doing the yellow on the back. I'm doing the burnt umber. And I am, let's turn these back this way again. Well, you know what, I'm not. Kind of confused because I'm doing these upside down. Just come over to this one like it's a little baby one. So remember, we're keeping it small. And you could actually do these, tap the centers in, and then proceed on creating the, the flowers around it. I just decided to go ahead and do the, the centers in afterwards. It's probably a lot easier to do the centers first. I'll have to admit that one. See, they don't all have to be the same size. You can tap in and put it, make them a little darker. And then there's one little one down here. I don't have, want to forget it. And you could also just tap in a bunch of little dots in the centers too, if you wanted to. I just like using my little deer foot stipplers. There you go. We're getting close to being finished. Thanks for sticking with me. All right, and then I can, you know, you can always go back in and put more brown in them. I like to tap in some yellow. Just like that. Again, you can keep playing with these as much as you want. Come back in, add some more darkness to it. Up into the center. There you go. Alright, the last thing I need to do, and again, this is what it's going to look like, but it, the intention was for it to be upside down or to be directed this way. Alright, I'm going to take my, my little uh, clay ball maker and I'm going to just start putting in some dots. These are supposed to be like little berries. And depending on the amount of pressure you place on these as to how big the dots are. I'm 
just so cute. You don't even have to do like threes. I'm doing threes for some reason. You can do them in fours, fives, or whatnot. It doesn't matter. Um, you could even put a couple outside here if you wanted. But then what you can do is take your little brush or a round brush if you prefer. I use my flat brushes so much that kind of, I don't know how to say, it kind of makes me... Uh, and better at using them, but you can do like little stems just to make them like their little berries. You can even add some mite into now. I can't do that really right now because it's wet. So, um, but I'm just you know pulling them in, just making little stems. Just pretend it's just part of doing a design and you can even do you know, like more of the brown stem coming out that kind of thing if you want it doesn't have to be you know all covered up with greenery either so Alright, so I think we're there. Alright, I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. That's very easy. There's a share button actually underneath the video. Just hit that. It'll give you the options and you'll be good to go. Alright, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and have a good one!